Hi, I'm Damon Connolly with the Marin County Board of Supervisors, and I'm pleased to share with you our State of the County message. Moving the needle on important issues requires community input and engagement. We know that to truly bring about change and have a greater collective impact, we need to work together. The county is working on a variety of community issues which support our goal of being a safe, healthy, and sustainable community while keeping a close eye on our fiscal health. Input from our recent resident survey will help inform our priorities. There are three important focus areas that we want to share with you and ask for your involvement to make even more progress over the next year. Drawdown Marin is the county's central sustainability initiative, and it's really aimed at working with the community to identify solutions to address climate change and to prepare for climate change impacts. It's, it's really about people. It's about going into neighborhoods in the county and talking with folks about what they are already doing to be more resilient and figuring out how can we expand those practices and then how can we share them with our neighbors. We've identified six focus areas. Those focus areas are 100% renewable energy, low carbon transportation, efficient building, local food and food waste, carbon sequestration, and climate resilient communities. The county is still in the really early planning stages for Drawdown, and we are thinking really deeply about how we can engage the community effectively in Drawdown Marin. Resilient Neighborhoods is a program that helps people reduce their carbon footprint and become more resilient to the impacts of climate change. It's a program where people sit down together and it builds community. We're facing some tough choices here. And if we're the generation that has to make this change, it's comforting to be able to sit across the table with a group of people you've learned to trust and talk about what that means to you. The people who went through the program three or four years ago learned how to get their household to carbon neutral and they keep taking the actions. They're motivated, they understand the importance, and they just keep going. The new Marin Compass will emphasize the activities associated with healthy communities, safe communities, and sustainable communities, which are the strategic goals of the Board of Supervisors. Marin Compass gives our employees and our residents an opportunity to inform, consult, collaborate and have a shared leadership with the county. So it's really aligning the work that we do with our mission, our vision, and what matters to our community. I was a member of the 2014-15 Civil Grand Jury, which investigated the management for results system that was in place at the time in the county. The Grand Jury found that activities in the county were oriented primarily towards internal matters and much less to the concerns of the residents. I was able to continue working with the top management of the county on the new Marin Compass. The process went very well. Marin Compass is not a one-time activity. It's an ongoing tool and a process of looking at continuously improving. We can't take big issues on our own. We seek partners with community organizations and our residents to ensure that we're addressing the issues that are meaningful to them. Housing is really the cornerstone of equity. Where you live, its quality, and the stability of your housing determine so many things about your life and your future. There is less rental than home ownership properties in Marin. However, 40% of the population in general rents. Historically, many of our homes were deed restricted to prevent people of color from owning them. And this resulted in our communities being largely white and it prevented a lot of folks, people of color, from owning homes and accruing wealth. Now the county has been trying to further some of our equity goals by establishing certain tenant protections. Recently, we've adopted an ordinance that prevents uh, source of income discrimination. We've established a program for mandatory mediation for rent increases that are above 5%. And we've also created a just cause for evictions ordinance that will allow tenants to stay in their homes so long as they don't break their lease and continue to pay rent. Housing is a human right and we have a responsibility to ensure those rights. And the Board of Supervisors and county staff have been working hard 
to have constructive conversations with community members to make sure that we're really supporting diverse perspectives and incorporating those when we make policy decisions. I live in Nevada, California, and I've been there since 1991. I grew up in Marin City. To me, equity in housing means that I have a choice to live where I want to live uh, based on what I can afford without fear of feeling unwelcome. I lived this. I grew up in a place that had housing equity issues. I became involved with the community advisory group. There were a couple of landlords, a disabled man, some students. The most valuable uh, part of my experience was finding out that other people cared about equity in housing. I'm grateful that the county is engaging community members and listening to them and opening up their meetings to the community. And I challenge them to do what they say they're going to do. To make a difference on these initiatives, we need the help of our residents and our community partners. Whether it's participating in Drawdown Moran or coming to our Equity Summit, you can make a real difference in the County of Moran. You can track our progress on these initiatives at moraincounty.org slash state of the county. And with your help, we can make Marin an even safer, healthier, and more sustainable community.